Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I uh, made one of these cooking videos, so I've had a very busy few weeks. I've been touring around Ireland and going to some beautiful places very close to where I live. So do be sure to check out my other videos if you want to see how beautiful my home country of Ireland is. Now today this video is a little bit last minute but I am on cooking duty tonight and I decided I'm going to make some Sri Lankan cuisine and I knew that you guys would probably want to see what I'm making. Now I want to give a little shout out to someone called Rita's Kitchen. Um, she's been messaging me a lot and I've been checking out her YouTube channel which I'm going to link down below in the description and in the pinned comment to Rita's Kitchen and she makes a lot of really cool, really simple, very detailed uh, Sri Lankan cooking videos. So if any of you guys are watching and you also want to try out and cook some delicious Sri Lankan food I really recommend checking her channel. She like puts all the ingredients and like the instructions and she just does it like really slowly and simply it's very easy to understand. So I'm gonna like take a little bit of inspiration from some of her videos today for this uh, chicken curry that I'm going to be making. So I'm gonna do Sri Lankan rice and curry, which is like a standard Sri Lankan dish. I guess it's almost like the national dish. Um, normally in Sri Lanka, when you do rice and curry, I guess you guys do like a few different curries. Um, I'm probably just gonna make one curry, like a chicken curry, maybe a dal, some dal on the side, and then some rice, of course, you have to have rice. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm just going to start by chopping up all the vegetables, the chilies, the garlic, uh, the ginger, the onion and the chicken. Um, preparing that uh, for my chicken curry. Um, I'll then prepare the rice and I'm thinking that maybe I will do a sort of stir fry capsicum curry. Like a, um, what's it called? Malu miris? Malu miris kirata? Malu miris kirata? It's kind of like a pepper capsicum curry, uh, like a side dish. I haven't tried that before, but uh, I might try it today. So I don't have all the ingredients, but I can wing it. It's okay. So I'll start with the chilies. I'm going to keep the seeds as I find the last chicken curry I did wasn't very spicy. Even my family agreed. So I'm going to keep the seeds this time. Now, I don't know why, but whenever I see a recipe with garlic and it's like, oh, just one clove of garlic or two, I always add like three or four. I don't know about you guys, but I love garlic. The more garlic, the better. Okay, so in case you guys are curious, this is the cook with a little spice set that I'm using. It's so handy for cooking Sri Lankan food. Um, I think my mom just got it as a gift. I think it's from Marks and Spencer's actually. Um, there's like black onion seeds, mustard seeds, cardamom pods, whole cloves, coriander seeds, and cumin, which a lot of these are needed in Sri Lankan recipes. So if you're gonna do Sri Lankan cooking, I really recommend picking up some sort of a spice kit um, like this, it works really well. Okay, I've got all of my ingredients ready. So as I said, I'm gonna try to do this sort of capsicum curry thing, fried capsicum curry that I haven't done before. And then I've got like the chili, the garlic, the ginger and the onion all chopped up for my chicken curry and of course I've got my chicken chopped up. So I'm just going to start working on the curry now and obviously I've got all my spices, I've got paprika and I've got curry powder, um, chili powder. I don't have any curry leaves. If you guys remember last time I was using this weird curry plant which was not the right curry plant to be using. Um, it wasn't really the correct curry leaves and I haven't been able to buy curry leaves so anyway I'm just going to use curry powder. Okay, so first up is my um, chopped ginger, garlic, and onions. All in. So I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of chili powder. Curry powder, two, two big ones. Now, luckily I've actually made Sri Lankan chicken curry before and I have the recipe and cooking instructions up on my website that I run with my friends. So if you do want to check that out, I'll leave the link in the description. 
Um, so it's kind of cool, I don't actually have to follow someone else's recipe, I'm just following my own recipe from the last time I cooked this almost a month ago. Okay, so I didn't have any tomatoes, so I have some tinned tomatoes. I'm just adding a little bit of tinned tomatoes. I'm also going to add the chilli. A lot of chilli. Okay, while the chicken is cooking away, it's doing a great job over there cooking itself, I'm going to get started on the capsicum curry, which I said I've never done before and I'm very much improvising with the ingredients, but I'm sure it would be delicious. Okay. For this capsicum dish, as you can hear in the background, I'm frying the onions until they turn brown. I'm kind of going to be making like caramelized onions, so it's supposed to be on a low heat, but they're really sizzling. I'm getting the peppers or the capsicums ready um, and the spices, and then I'm going to cook it all together and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, I've added um, some chili powder and the curry leaves, letting that sizzle. I'm going to add a bit of um, turmeric. Sprinkle of turmeric. So everything's pretty sorted now. So the curry is nearly done. We just have to add the coconut milk. Um, so I'm going to put the rice on so everything should be ready in about 10 minutes. And this uh, capsicum fry, which is this new thing I'm trying. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cooking. I don't know how it's going to taste. Maybe you guys have some tips on some other uh, curries I can do with capsicum. Okay, so I've just poured in the coconut milk. I'm using rich and creamy coconut milk. So I just wanted to take it off the heat for a second. Now guys, we have this amazing thing. It's called a quaker. It's instant boiling water. And then, I'll bring it over here. And back to the side. Yum. This is our uh, Sri Lankan chicken curry. We've got a stir fry capsicum and the rice. Dinner is served. Rice and curry. Okay, all the hard work is done. Now I guess I gotta taste it. So I think it's gonna be pretty spicy. Um, this is what the finished product looked like. So this is the fried capsicum curry and then just rice and curry. Um, yeah, we'll see. Nice and creamy with the coconut milk. Ooh, it's got an after kick. I put a lot of chilies in there this time because the last time I made this curry, it wasn't very spicy. Like it was nice, but it wasn't that spicy. Ooh. It's got a kick. <laughs> Do you think, Mum, does it have a kick? It does. Huge kick. How do you guys eat food this spicy? In fairness, I did put a few extra 